Caribbean American Forum. So let me try to uh, address a very serious issue in the Caribbean American community, and that's the West Indian American Day Carnival Parade, known as the Labor Day Parade. Last year, um, we had a situation where even the police commissioner and um, many uh, New Yorkers falsely attributed mo much of the violence attending to that weekend, the whole Labor Day weekend, to the parade when very few incidents actually happened on the route of the parade. And so they, they, they caused this um, perception to be um, cemented that the parade was violent. Um, and then subsequent to that, we had uh, the entire collapse of, of, the, of the Carnival Association. So there's a, um, a very palpable and grave concern in the community that uh, there is some sort of plan afoot to either um, in some way change the, the, the route of the parade or to end the parade itself. And in so far as um, the, the Carnival Association itself and its ability to convene this parade. Um, as an elected official, as a leader in the Caribbean American community, what's the strategy to ensure that this vital aspect of our culture is uh, continued and that we can make this organization viable for the future? Well, we, uh, my colleagues and I are aware of the problems, uh, internal uh, turmoil uh, that's been reported to be ongoing in the uh, West Indian American Day Carnival Association. They are the traditional host of the Labor Day Carnival. Uh, they possess a lot of expertise and knowledge about how this operates. Um, our concern, and it's not just our concern, our, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, our concern is elevated by uh, our information and knowledge that uh, the city is quite unhappy about last year's uh, circumstances, which I believe is falsely the, the, the uh, certain number of um, uh, violence occurring on Labor Day that has been wrongfully attributed to the carnival, uh, but nonetheless there <coughs> nonetheless there um, uh, that's on the table and 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 uh, we have to forcefully rebut that attribution to the carnival as uh, Caribbean American and leaders and also my other um, my colleagues uh, who who represent parts of Brooklyn through which the carnival passes. Um, <coughs> we are looking into this situation and we expect to talk with the uh, members of uh, WADICA, the West Indian American Day Carnival Association. Uh, we have been hearing from a lot of interested parties and people who participate in the, in, the, in the Labor Day Carnival have vested interest in it. Um, our responsibility is to make sure that we preserve this as a, a part of the Caribbean cultural institution in Brooklyn, uh, that um, legacy uh, that Carlos Lezama built. We are able to continue to build on it. and. Uh, we 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 continue to review the situation. Uh, politicians can't run the carnival. We have no intent, or hopes, or dreams of being in charge of that. <laughs> uh, but certainly, we hope to provide some leadership to uh, deal with the problems that might threaten the viability of it, and make sure we have a good outcome. Uh, that will be for the best uh, interest of all the people who have an interest in celebrating and enjoying the carnival in Eastern Parkway. Finally, um, the most important um, resource for the convening of the carnival is funding. And uh, given the um, instability of uh, both the association as well as the perception um, this perception that was perpetuated last year, um, I, I think uh, sponsors might be a little timid 
and would be probably observing this year to see what happens. Would uh, the um, legislators and um, at all levels, or is rather, um, are the legislators at every level, federal, state, and city, um, coming together to make sure that the appropriate funding is provided for so that they could stage this uh, activity? Yeah, well, we understand the critical part that funding plays in not just the carnival, but any operation like that. And, uh, and why we, we don't, we're, we're not going to make any promises of uh, uh, any bag of money available. Uh, we promise that uh, once we work out all those problems that are a uh, threat to the survival of the carnival, and we have a process that provides for transparency and accountability, that we give uh, full support to uh, the, the operation of the carnival. Um, to the greatest extent that we can. My colleagues and I are willing to do what we can to uh, help uh, create the environment in which uh, funds can flow either from uh, government sources or corporate sources. Um, and, and we look forward to working with the people who are going to put the carnival together and get it on the parkway. And uh, we hope to have a successful year. We will deal with the, uh, the problems and the concerns uh, about the potential of violence and um, <coughs> try to straighten out those who wrongfully attribute anything that happens on Labor Day to a carnival. Uh, it's a challenge uh, dealing with any group of Caribbean folks uh, <laughs> in that kind of a setting is always a challenge, but I think that all of us together are up to the task, and uh, regardless of where we are now, I think we can fix it um, through dialogue. Uh, we hope to talk with everybody, and because uh, the main goal is to have the carnival, to get it on down the parkway on Labor Day make sure that all the things that are put in the way to block it are removed and uh, that's the goal we work for and we we will be engaged fully with all the parties involved assemblyman thank you very much for joining us on the forum okay.